The Russian Federation, or what is usually called the Russian state, is a sovereign country that has the largest territory in the world. It can be said that Russia is a transcontinental country. This country's territory includes Eastern Europe and North Asia. The country's territory covers more than one-eighth of the Earth's land area, with a total area of 17,098,246 square kilometers. If we force a comparison with the United States, the area of Russia is almost twice as large as the area of the United States. Like countries across the continent of Eurasia, Russia borders almost every country in the world. This country has international borders with 16 sovereign countries such as Norway, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, China, Mongolia, and North Korea. This country also has maritime borders with Japan and the United States, as well as borders with two countries with limited recognition, such as South Ossetia and Abkhazia. This vast territory also means that Russia has 11 different time zones. The city of Moscow is the largest city in Russia. Apart from that, this city is also the capital of the Russian state which functions as the political, economic, cultural and scientific center of Russia and Eastern Europe. Moscow is the historical center of Russia. The city is home to several UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is renowned for its distinctive Russian architectural displays. In 2021, it is estimated that Russia's population will reach 146.2 million, making the country the most populous country in Europe and the ninth largest in the world. Russia is a multinational country, it is home to more than 193 ethnic groups, but demographically ethnic Russians dominate the country's population with a percentage of 80% of the entire population. Based on its constitution, Russia is a secular country, this country guarantees freedom of religion for every citizen. In a survey conducted in 2017, the largest religion in this country is Christianity, with a percentage reaching 73% and the majority of Russian Christians are adherents of the Russian Orthodox Church. Islam is the second largest religion in Russia with its adherents accounting for 10% of the Russian population, while around 15% of the Russian population is non-religious and the rest are affiliated with other religions. Russian is the official and most widely spoken language in Russia. It is the most widely spoken mother tongue in Europe and the most geographically distributed language in Eurasia, as well as the most widely spoken Slavic language in the world. In addition to Russian, more than 100 minority languages are spoken throughout the Russian Federation. Russia is a federal republic with a semi-presidential system of government, where the president is the head of state and the prime minister is the head of government. The President of Russia is the head of state of the Russian Federation who automatically also serves as Supreme Commander of the Russian Armed Forces. The President of Russia has a central role in the country's political system, where he has very significant influence over the executive branch. The President of Russia is directly elected by popular vote for a term of six years. Vladimir Putin is the current president of Russia. He has served as president of Russia since 2012 and was re-elected in 2018. Russia is a great power with the ability to exert its influence on a global scale and is considered a potential superpower. The country's economy is the 11th largest in the world by nominal GDP and the 6th largest by purchasing power parity. Russia has a mixed economic system with enormous natural resources, especially oil and natural gas, which makes it the world's largest producer of oil and natural gas. In 2019, the Russian Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment estimates that the value of natural resources is 60% of the country's GDP. In addition, Russia is also one of the countries that has the lowest foreign debt among other developed countries. History of Russia The ancestors of modern Russians were the Slavs, whose original home is considered by some scholars to be a forested area in the Pinsk Swamp, one of the largest wetlands in Europe. The East Slavs gradually settled in the territory of West Russia in several waves, and since the 7th century AD, the East Slavs constituted the largest population in the territory of West Russia. They were also assimilated with the locals who had inhabited the area longer such as the tribes. Maria, Muromians, and Meshkara the formation of the first East Slavic state occurred around the 9th century, when the Varangians, led by a figure named Rurik, crossed the Baltic Sea. The Varangians are a tribal group of the Russian nation. In 862 AD, Rurik was then elected ruler of the Novgorod region. 
In 882, the successor of Rurik, Oleg of Novgorod, succeeded in conquering the Kiev region, which was then ruled by the Khazar Khanate. After successfully destroying the Khazar Khanate and conquering all the East Slavic tribes and launching several military expeditions to Byzantium and Persia. Then in the 10th to 11th centuries Kievan Rus emerged as one of the largest and most prosperous countries in Europe. In the mid-13th century, Kievan Rus finally disbanded as a state due to infighting between members of the princely family who ruled collectively, coupled with attacks from the Mongol forces which further destroyed the country. The Grand Duchy of Moscow or the Grand Duchy of Moscow emerged as the most powerful force after the destruction of Kievan Rus. This kingdom began to assert its influence in central Russia in the early 14th century and gradually became a major force in the process of reunification of the Russian lands and Russian expansion. Moscow succeeded in consolidating all of central and northern Russia while under the leadership of Ivan the Great. After the fall of Constantinople in 1453, Moscow claimed a succession of inheritance from the Eastern Roman Empire. Ivan III married the nephew of the last Byzantine emperor and made the coat of arms of the Byzantine double-headed eagle his and eventually the coat of arms of Russia. In 1547 the harmony of Moscow changed its name to Tsardom of Russia under Ivan IV who was also crowned the first Tsar of Russia. In 1721, under the leadership of Peter the Great or Tsar Peter the Great, Russia was proclaimed an empire and became one of the great powers in Europe. Russia is a great power and dominates Europe especially after its victory over Napoleon. At the end of the 19th century, various socialist movements began to emerge in Russia. The Russian Revolution took place in 1917. This revolution was triggered by a combination of the exhaustion of Russia's economic meltdown during World War I, as well as dissatisfaction with the autocratic system of government. In the revolution, King Nicholas II was forced to abdicate. He and his family were imprisoned and executed by Bolshevik revolutionaries in Ekaterinburg during the Russian Civil War. The monarchical system was later replaced by a coalition of political parties that declared themselves the interim government. And in September 1917, by decree of the provisional government, the Russian Republic was proclaimed. The overthrow of the monarchy initially brought about a coalition between liberal parties and moderate socialist parties, but their failed policies led to a power struggle within the coalition. The October Revolution, led by the Bolshevik leader Vladimir Lenin, succeeded in overthrowing the provisional government and giving full government power to Soviet Russia, leading to the creation of the world's first socialist state. In 1922, the Russian Soviets, together with the Ukrainian Soviets, Belarusian Soviets, and the Transcaucasian SFSR signed an agreement on the formation of the Soviet Union, the treaty formally merging the four republics to form the Soviet Union as a state. Since its early years, the government in the Soviet Union was based on a one-party government, namely the Communist Party. Between 1922 and 1991, the history of Russia became essentially the history of the Soviet Union, which was effectively an ideologically based country that roughly bordered the Russian Empire. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. On December 12th of the same year, the Russian Federation of Soviet Socialist Republics or also known as Soviet Russia it also marks the beginning of the history of the post-Soviet Union Russia. The Russian Federation is the only post-Soviet republic that is a permanent member of the Soviet Union on the UN Security Council. Russia takes on responsibility for settling the foreign debt of the Soviet Union. Russia also inherited the entire Soviet Union's nuclear arsenal in 1994. That's a little history of the Russian state, and to know more about this country, here are 20 facts about the Russian state. The etymology of the name Russia comes from the word Rus. The name Rus itself comes from the early Middle Ages to designate the Russian nation, which founded the country centered in Novgorod which later became Kievan Rus. The design of the Russian national flag in use today dates back to 1696. This flag was first used as an ensign for Russian merchant ships that year. The design consists of three horizontal lines formed from a combination of three colors, namely white, blue, and red. The three colors represent the order of priority, namely white for God, blue for king, and red for nation. However, there are various interpretations of what the colors on the Russian flag mean. 
And the most popular are as follows. White color symbolizes nobility and honesty, blue color for loyalty, honesty, imperfection and chastity, and red color for courage, generosity and love. The Russian ruble is the official currency of the Russian Federation. It is internationally coded as RUB. If converted to our country's currency, one Russian ruble has an exchange rate of 200 rupiah. In addition to the Russian Federation, this currency is also used in two countries with limited recognition, namely Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and also in two countries that have not been recognized, namely the Republic of Donetsk and the Republic of Luhansk. The period of World War II that occurred between the years 1941 to 1945 is known in Russia as the Great Patriotic War or the Great Patriotic War. It is noted that this period was a period of war that included many of the deadliest combat operations in human history. Hitler's biggest failure was when he and his troops failed to invade Russia which then led to the defeat of Germany in World War II. Nazi Germany suffered considerable defeats at the Battle of Stalingrad, the Battle of the Kursk and the Battle of Leningrad. During the period of World War II, Russia, which at that time was still a Soviet Union, was one of the countries that suffered huge losses. It was recorded that at least 27 million people died from both civilian and military circles in the battle when Nazi Germany attacked and tried to control the territories of this country. The city of St. Petersburg, formerly known as Leningrad, is one of the cities that witnessed the defeat of the German Nazi troops. The city which Hitler initially estimated could be conquered within a few months turned out to provide fierce resistance for several years which actually led to the defeat of the Germans. Hotel Astoria in St. Petersburg is the place where Hitler plans to throw a big celebration party after he conquers the city. But in reality the party was never held. St. Petersburg, dubbed the Venice of the North, is also known as the capital of modern Russian culture. The city is famous for its stunning architecture. The city center of St. Petersburg is included in the UNESCO heritage list as is Paris and Rome. Red Square or Red Field which is one of the landmarks of the city A Euro A Euro of Moscow is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The name of the Red Field itself has nothing to do with the Red Army or Communism. Its name is taken from the word Krasnyi which means beautiful. Vladimir Lenin is one of the most important figures in Russian history, he is also widely regarded as one of the most significant and influential figures of the 20th century. After his death on January 21, 1924, Russian scientists carried out an experimental method of embalming to preserve Lenin's body. And to this day you can see Lenin's body preserved in Lenin's mausoleum in Red Square, Moscow City. Although the Julian calendar system has not been used by many countries since 1582. However, this calendar system was still used in Russia until 1918. The Julian calendar system has a difference of about 12 days with the Gregorian or AD system. As a result, in 1908 the Russian Olympic team arrived 12 days late to the 1908 Olympics held in London. However, to this day many Russian Orthodox churches still use the Julian calendar. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, that Russia is the country with the largest area in the world, it is estimated that the area of a euro a euro this country is the same as the area of a euro a euro the planet Pluto. Of the vast territory of Russia, it turns out that about 77% of its territory is Siberian territory. Siberian territory itself is known throughout the world mainly for its long and harsh winters, with an average temperature of minus 25 degrees Celsius at the peak of winter. Due to its harsh climate, only about 20% of the territory of Siberia is inhabited by humans. Almost half of Russia's territory is forest. This country has the largest forest reserves in the world. Russia also still has many forest ecosystems that are still untouched by humans. And Europe's last wild forest covers most of Siberia, home to the endangered Siberian tiger. As we have said in the video 10 coldest places on earth. Some of the coldest places on Earth on the list are in Russia, such as the cities of Norlisk, Yakutsk, Verkhoyansk, and Oymyakon. The Trans-Siberian Railway is the longest single railway line in the world. The length of this railway line is about 9,289 kilometers and crosses eight time zones. To cover the entire train line, you will spend about a week on the train. One of the other interesting Russian facts is that Russians learn not to smile while growing up. 
Although smiling in many cultures is a sign of happiness and friendliness, Russians don't see it that way. For Russians, smiling is a sign of weakness and does not show true feelings. Russians do smile at people they know well and care about but not at strangers like many other cultures in the world. Russia has more women than men. Of the approximately 146 million inhabitants of Russia, about 54% are women and the remaining 46% are men. That is, there are more single girls in this country, besides that Russian women are famous for dressing up Russian women also have a longer life than men. Russian women have a life expectancy of 76.57 years, while their men only have a life expectancy of 64 years.